Today we're going to talk about solving systems of equations and talk about one of the methods in which we use to solve these systems. This method is called the addition or the elimination method. Um, and let's take a look at all the steps involved when doing this. So there are about five steps in the addition elimination method and not all of them have to be used all the time. First step is that we need to write our equations are two equations that we're given, these two equations for our system. Write them so that the x's, the y's, and the constants are all lined up. All right, so anything with an x term is lined straight in a straight line. The y's are lined straight together. The, the constants are lined straight together. The equal signs match up. So once we line everything up, the second is to see if one of the variables cancel. So if I was to just look at those and add them up, does one of them cancel on their own? If they do, great. If they don't, we need to go skip to step number four and multiply by a number that's going to create that elimination. And then finally, step five, once I found one of my variables, I plug it in and find the second, which is true of any, any method that we use in graphing. We always have to find two variables. It's pretty obvious in graphing um, since every point is an x and a y. But in substitution method as well, once we get the x value, we need to find the y. So let's take a look at a simple example to start. If I have x plus y equals 8 as my first equation, and my second equation, x minus y equals negative 2. If we think about the steps we have to do, the first one is to make sure that x, y, and constants are all lined up. If you look at this, they are. I've got my x's lined up together, my y's are in a straight line down, the equal signs are lined up, my constants are lined up. So step one is taken care of automatically. Secondly, I need to see if one of the variables will cancel. So if I look to add this up, Will one of my variables cancel? And the answer is yes. The y's will go away. If I add plus y minus plus a negative y, they cancel. So I can just go ahead and add. I don't need to go to step four because I cancel on my own. So if I go ahead and add these, x plus x gives me a 2x. y plus negative y, those cancel each other out. And then I'm going to equal 8 plus negative 2, which is 6. So the idea with elimination and addition method is that I'm eliminating one of the variables. I'm eliminating one of the variables so I can solve for the, for the other. And once I get that answer, so in this case, x equals 3, I can take that x and plug it into either one of the first two original equations to get my y. So once I have x, I'm going to go ahead and take that x and put it into the original equation number 1. So I get 3 plus y equals 8. So I know x is 3. Subtract 3, and I get my y equal to 5. Therefore, the solution to this system using the elimination method is 3, 5. Let's take a look at a couple more examples that maybe use more, more steps. So looking at this top example here, 3y equals 7 minus x, 2x minus 3y equals negative 22. So right away, my first step is to have everything lined up. And you should notice right away that things are not lined up. So let's fix this. So I would say the second equation is in pretty good form. We'll keep that as it is. This first equation, I'm going to try to make it look like the second. So I'm going to keep that 3y where it is. I'm going to keep the 7 where it is. What I need to move is this x on the left-hand side. So if I do that, I get 3y plus x equals 7. And keeping the bottom one as is, I have 2x minus 3y equals negative 22. Almost there. The last thing I do is just switch the places of the x and y in the top equation. So if I just switch their places, keeping their signs, I get x plus 3y equals 7. And on the bottom, I keep everything as is, 2x minus 3y equals negative 22. So a little movement but I have everything lined up now. My x's, my y's, my constants are all lined up. Next thing to do is look to see if something cancels. My x's do not cancel. My y's, however, do. Plus 3y minus 3y goes away. So I can go ahead and take these and add them up. No change necessary. So if I have an x plus 2x, I'm left with a 3x. My y's go away because plus 3y minus 3y equals 0. Now on this side, I do 7 minus 22. Now I'm going to be left with a negative 15. 
Now to finish solving for x, I divide by 3, and x is negative 5. Now I got one variable, don't forget to get the second. Remember, a solution to a system is a point, so we need an x and a y. So I take my x, and I can put it into either one of the original equations to solve for y. So I'm going to take my x and put it into the first equation. So I get 3y equals 7 minus negative 5. Simplifying, I get 3y equals 7 plus 5. And remember, these two double negatives are going to make a positive, so I get 12. Divide by 3, and y equals 4. Therefore, the solution to this system is negative 5, comma, 4. That's the point in which these two lines will intersect. So in that second example, the first example, we didn't really have to do a lot of work. Things were lined up, and y's canceled. The second example we just completed, I had to rearrange so that things were lined up, but once they were lined up, I had a variable that canceled out right away. This last example we're going to look at together, everything is lined up. The problem is nothing cancels. So I have to multiply one of the equations, or maybe both, in order to make something go away. So the first decision you have to, to make is what variable do you want to cancel? Do you want to cancel the x's, or do you want to cancel the y's? And since we've been canceling the y's, why not continue to cancel them? So I need, if I have a 2y in this second equation, I have a 2y there. My first equation, I need to make that y, that positive y right now, be a negative 2y. So what I'm going to do is multiply everything in this equation by negative 2. We can't just change one term. We need to keep it balanced. So if we're changing one term, if we're making this y become negative 2y, I have to multiply every single term by negative 2. So once I do that, I'm going to get negative 6x minus 2y equals negative 14. And if I take my second equation and move it on over, unchanged, I get x plus 2y equals 4. So now I have everything lined up, and my y's are going to be eliminated when I add. So adding these together, negative 6x plus x is negative 5x. Now that I changed, my y's cancel. And negative 14 and 4 is a negative 10. Finishing up to solve for y, or sorry, sorry for x, I get x equals positive 2. And again, don't forget, once we find our x, we need to find our y. So... I'm going to take that x I just found, and I'm going to plug it into the first equation and solve for y. So 3 times 2 plus y equals 7. 6 plus y equals 7. Subtract 6, and y is 1. Therefore, the solution to this system is 2, comma 1. So now we have together completed three examples. And in those three examples, you saw each of the steps being used. So you saw either that you had to rearrange an equation so everything was lined up. You saw that it was given to you lined up with something canceled. And you also saw that we had to change an equation in order to make something cancel by multiplying by a number. So now that you've looked at those examples with me and you have the steps given to you, I'd like you to try this one on your own. So solve this system of equation using elimination method.